What's going on you guys? This is Ryan back again with another video and we have some new 99s in the game. New Madden 25 team cards, Adrian Peterson, Darrell Revis, and Brian Finneran. For those of you who may not know who Brian Finneran is, he was never a very great or even good receiver, but he was very tall and very good in Madden. That's why you're seeing this card right here. Uh, he was always injury prone. He never really lived up to his potential, but he did show flashes and this is what he could have been basically in this card. So let's start off with Adrian Peterson. You see Adrian Peterson here, uh, 97 speed, 98 agility, 100 acceleration, 95 awareness, 94 carrying, which is kind of on the low side for running backs nowadays in Madden. Um, he may be a little bit fumble prone, so uh, be wary of that before you buy this Adrian Peterson. He has 99 trucking, 99 elusiveness, and 99 ball carrier vision. So he's stacked everywhere, but that carrying kind of stands out to me. Could be better. We'll have to see how he plays, though. And maybe Cullenberger will do a review on him because, you know, he always gets those good cards right off the bat. Uh, Darrell Revis now. Darrell Revis is absolutely overpowered. 96 speed, 97 agility, 93 awareness, 72 tackle, 101 man, 98 zone, 97 press, and 98 play rec. And then, of course, Brian Finneran, 6'7". They kind of messed up on that. Brian Finneran is always listed at 6'5". Maybe they have some inside information that we don't know about, but Brian Finneran is not 6'7". Um, but he does have 94 speed, 96 agility, 95 awareness. This is where it gets crazy, guys. 96 route running, 98 catch, 98 catch in traffic, 98 spectacular catch, and 99 release. This guy is an absolute monster. If they keep that 6'7 height and you get the boost, the correct boost with a trend in holiday and your coach being Jim Schwartz, he goes all the way up to 98 speed that is absolutely crazy for that type of card but now we are on madden and we're going to go ahead and open up a couple packs here and see if we can pull any of these new cards um kind of on the tired side right now i've been up for a little bit and today is wrestlemania so if i do pull any of the new cards my reaction may not be the best but i assure you this is live and we're going to go ahead and go through these cards one by one so home uniform of the chargers and we pair it up with the chargers offensive playbook that's always nice to see uh, two of the same sort of team cards. Craig Robertson, Josh Hole, contract extension, Chuck Pagano, Gillette, Gillette Stadium, another one with back-to-back -back teams, uh, Brandon Bolden, Heath Miller, and last card, come on, let's make it AP. And it's Sam Shields. So we didn't get anything there. Um, nothing I really want to keep. I guess I'll keep Sam Shields for the cornerback collection if I decide to do that. <clears throat> Would definitely be... Uh, one of the cards that I'll have to look for and buy in the future. Chase Blackburn. Go ahead and reveal all there's going to be in this pack. Roddy White. That's in a new collection. Everything else here I do not need. And I think we'll open up about 100k maybe worth of cards or packs. Why not? Um, new cards and packs. Very good cards and packs. Might as well go ahead and see what we can get. Lance Moore. That's also in a collection this week. And I think CJ Wilson is too. So we're getting a lot of collection cards here. Which is nice for me because I like just complete random collections. You never know what those loyalty rewards are going to be for the next game. So definitely be sure to do those. I'm going to do my fan method now. And we get a 68 year old Freeman. That's not good. A Mike Adams. That's not good. Um, I guess we'll go ahead and, and do the London method as people say works. Last time I did it, I think I got Manti Teo. And this time we get a... Bryant McKinney and a Namde Awesome one. Not very good. Oh, I'm done with pack opening methods. I'm just going to do the simple reveal all. I always said the reveal all was the best way to open up packs, even though it's just a superstition. Just the best way to do it. Reveal all, and we get ourselves three gold cards, which none of them are that good. But we do get a discard that I think discards for 1k. I could be wrong. 500 coins, so it's not even that great. Um. Yeah, but yeah, guys, let me know if you guys pull anything that's new. Maybe the new AP, maybe the new Revis, uh, Brian Finneran, uh, maybe even one of the new Ultimate Legends that just came out recently. Let's see. Draft Collectible, Eric Ebron. That's not probably going to happen. Jabari Greer, and okay. I guess we'll just keep these guys. Um, but yeah, let me know if you guys pull anything. There's a bunch of new stuff in packs. Um, like I said, the new Ultimate Legend Collectible is even going for a lot for John Randall. So if you pull that... Um, that might be going for a decent bit at the time, so get that up immediately. Uh, Colin Kaepernick, Road to the Playoffs Edition, may have some sort of value. Um, I guess we'll do about another 20-30k. I'm not even keeping track of how much I've opened. I just want to get one good pull before I end the video. 
Um, ooh, we get a Reggie White. That kind of scared me a little bit. Darrell Revis. I wish that was the actual Revis that just came out. But unfortunately, nah. <clears throat> we'll go to like 50k or 40k over 1.1. Um, Eric Wright. I thought that was another Revis for some reason because Bucks. Uh, Chris Johnson, Colin Kaepernick. We're not going to keep any of that. All right, and I guess we'll just go and do the fan method again. Why not? Fan method gives us another William Perry. Wait, was it William Perry that I just opened? I don't even remember at this point. I think it was Reggie White. <clears throat> but another rookie legend nonetheless. Jamel Cujo. That's a pretty cool name. Yeah, you know what's great. We'll just go down to 1.1. Why not? Got to get something. Got to get something new. Roddy White, Marvin Lewis, Stark Uniform, Mitch Urian, James Ahedibo, Brandon LaFell. At least that Ahedibo goes for a decent bit. That was going for a lot when I was trying to do the uh, strong safety collection. Um, I wish I could give you guys a lineup update of what I'm currently at, but because of head-to-head -head seasons, the series I'm doing, I'm going to try to do them as fast as possible and put them in uh, upcoming videos. Like, if I'm just doing something like an update on uh, what's in the game or something, I'll have a head-to-head -head season gameplay at the beginning, maybe three, four minutes long, maybe even five, and then throw in what's new in the game. And it looks like we get a Malcolm Jenkins and a Julius Peppers. I wonder if this Peppers has any value. Jared Allen. <clears throat> Go ahead and throw those in reserves. Come on, let's get something good. Just one good pull. That's all I'm asking for. All I'm asking for is one good pull. Reveal all. Oh my goodness, guys. I froze for some reason because I didn't understand what was happening. But apparently we get two elites. One of them is Brian Robeson, which is the cheapest of the new final editions. And a Devin Hester Breakthrough Player of the Year collectible, which I guess is nice. I guess I could just do that collection. Um, shouldn't be too much. And we get a free, basically, Devin Hester because we could sell it and make the coins back. <clears throat> or use it. Who knows? White Pants Jenkins, if I pulled this about three months ago, I'd probably be peeing my pants right now. But unfortunately, it does not go for anything anymore. But we will keep it. I like to keep kickers. I don't know. I don't know if I'm just... If that's just me, but I really do like to keep the kickers. Um, never know when a new kicker collection or something's going to come out in weeklies. And those always are expensive because of bronze cards. No one keeps those. Chris Cook. And it doesn't look like we're going to get anything in these packs. Um, I guess I'll do one final one. We should be able to get to 1.1 almost exactly. Um, this is what happens when you open up packs and you have a negative attitude. So, always be positive when you open up your packs. Let's see if it works. I believe I'm going to get something very good in this pack. I love Madden Ultimate Team. I think it's the greatest game ever. And I don't understand why anyone would hate on this game. Reveal all. And it didn't work. We get another Brandon LaFell and a Devin Hester. So... I don't know, just some stupid things that pop into my head when I'm thinking about uh, Madden or whatever, trying to get the best pools. And we couldn't get the 1.1 on the discard, that kind of sucks. But we have to go and discard something because I don't like that uneven sort of thing going there. So let's go find the cheapest gold we can find and discard it. Um, hey, Jarrell Freeman and Jamil McLean, why not? Goodbye. And we're back to 1.1. So that's pretty much it, guys. I didn't pull anything new, unfortunately. I'm very sorry for that. But at least you guys are updated and you know what's in packs. Uh, we will check the auction block real quick for each of the cards. Maybe we can get a live snipe on record. That would be pretty cool. Um, no new Adrian Petersons are up. We'll go ahead and check Finner in, which I will believe he is on the Falcons. Yeah, why wouldn't he be on the Falcons? Um, <clears throat> see if we can find one of these guys. New Julio Jones. Not new Julio Jones, but... Old Julio Jones. And Jets Revis. Let's go see. It's funny how they released that one Darrell Revis card. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, guys. We have one up for 2.75 million. Already a Revis has been pulled. I wonder how long it takes for someone to buy that. I know a lot of people are going to be wanting that card. And that's going to be a very expensive card. But hey, at least you guys get to see one live on video. Um... The Jets Revis of the MVP edition is already da already down to 74k. Um, that's also a very good buy if it drops down below maybe like 50k because of all these new Revis is coming out. Um, that's a pretty good card all in it by itself. Uh, this is just overpowered. I mean, let's see the differences here. Speed is upgraded significantly. Agility's up by two. 
awareness is the same. Tackling is greatly increased. Man coverage is increased. Zone coverage is greatly increased. The press is greatly increased. And the play rec is also greatly increased. So this Darrell Revis is definitely better than this one, but I still think for the value, if this one drops to like 50K, this is a very nice buy. I mean, you don't have to have the super stack teams. I know some people do, but it's just not worth it in my opinion to buy something of that magnitude. Uh, it's still 2.75K. One quick check of all the cards again, just because I'm feeling lucky. Maybe someone put it up for cheap by accident, and we're going to go ahead and snipe it. Leo Jones, and we're going to end on this AP. <clears throat> Should have went the other way, but I'm tired, like I said. Doing some stupid stuff right now. There might be a new AP. I think there is. Nope. All right, so that's pretty much it, guys. Um, Very long video, but hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and I'm out. Peace.